love grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. Not enjoyable anymore. Well, do you even have the grocery stores with a uh, bar in them? The Um, wine taste? Yeah, no, we do have that. But, I mean, I don't really get to participate often in it. There Uh are, uh, when Madeline was first born, and I I anticipate doing this with my next child who's first born, um, I would go out to, like, Wegmans and stuff during Mm -hmm. the day. And whenever they had samples, I'd just be pushing my baby to each sample station. Yeah. (laughs) I love it. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I guess I would even. I'm pregnant enough now to where I would push Madeline and my unborn child to the sample station. Oh, speaking of grocery stores, can I tell you about another funny thing that happened? Yeah. So, two weeks ago, we were at the grocery store and Madeline wanted to sit in the car. Like, the little, you know how they have the little cars attached to the cart? And she started hysterical crying because she wanted baby brother to sit with her. What? Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, there is literally nothing I could do in this situation unless I birth the child right now. (laughs) Oh, is she really into like knowing that the baby brother's in your belly? Yes. And. She keeps up now. She's like, he's not born yet. We have to wait. He's not born yet. We have to wait. So now she's. Yeah. But she goes up and she tells people that she has a brother. Oh. Well, so. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> sure, nothing else has happened. Have you been on any dates? No. Oh, no. <laughs> You're like, why would I ever do that? No, I would. If, like, there. Yeah. There's. I, there, I'm like. When I moved here, I thought, well, Columbus is a city full of guys that I've not met, and I, like, don't meet any of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Yes, and I'm not super enthusiastic about it either, so I don't think that's helping. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to go out and have to meet these people either. Or I used to hate when people say... Oh, maybe you'll bump into them at the grocery store or something. So, so I, was I like, what am I doing at the grocery store? I have I'm another like, oh. I have another story about the grocery store actually. <laughs> so I was at the grocery store a couple weeks ago and the lady in front of me, she was had some like water bottles that were stuck in like the like rails in the bottom of her cart. So I like I was closer to him, so I pulled him out and gave him to her. So and then she made a comment about, like, she asked a question about something. I was fine. So we were just chatting in line. Super nice lady. And it came up that we live, like, super close to each other, like, right down the street in different mm-hmm. apartment buildings. And she was like, well, I'm, I'm new, you know, to the area. Here's my number. She Wait, is this numbers. the lady? Is this the lady that and her husband she kept wanting to hang out? Last time I was talking to you is when she was texting me. Yeah. We were recording. So... She's really nice, and um, she was like, yeah, we'll just, you know, like, maybe we can get a drink or something. Um, so I was like, yeah, that's great. I don't really know anybody here, so she seemed really nice, and she is a really nice lady. But, yeah, she texted me last time we were recording. I was looking at my phone because we were recording, and I had, like, nine text messages from her <laughs> and, like, pictures of, like, her and her husband on their, like, anniversary trip and the desserts they ate. And I was just like, whoa. Oh, that's right. She texted all of that. Yes. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, and then a few days later, I'm at work. And I wrote back, like, just something very short. And, like, just acknowledge that I got her text. And, um, <laughs> if it, lucky she wasn't texting me. She would have gotten, like, a half response. <laughs> so, yeah. An unfinished sentence. Um, and then I was at work a few days later. And she texted me, like, five text messages about this food poisoning that she got. What? Like, I was just like, this poor lady, like, one that sucks, and she's really nice, and it seems like she really needs a friend, but I'm like, I am not the person. Like, we just met, and you're telling me all this, me all this stuff. I'm like, lady, I think you need to find some other friends than me, because I, yeah. yeah, I'm like, I don't want to be her first friend. Well, I mean, the other thing is that normally when you're talking to a friend, you don't send them five text messages in such detail about you know, like you're coming on off of that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well I mean I've had nobody try and be my friend recently 
No, I mean, honestly, I shouldn't turn people away. No one's tried to be my friend either. <laughs> but I really don't even think that I want anymore at this point because I yeah. don't have time. I can't even talk to the friends that I do have. I know. I went back to Cincinnati this past weekend, and it mm-hmm. was kind of tough because I had such a good time. And it was just so nice, and I hung out with a bunch of friends and did some cool stuff around the neighborhood that I used to live in. And I was my left. I'm like, this is so sad. Yeah, yeah. I'll go back to the big city of Columbus, <laughs> where I act like there's nothing to do and there's so much to do. <laughs> but somebody's got to hang out with my dog, right? And sometimes doing all those things is just exhausting. It's true, especially when you only have weekends to do them. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Like when you're trying to fit everything in on the weekend. I mean, I just feel like if you're working full time and are pretty committed to that and then trying to fit in all like the events and then trying to make new friends on weekends, it's like impossible. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. It's it's such a different world going from working from home and so it wasn't a big deal if I wanted to do something in the evening. If I wanted to hang out, I'm like, Yeah, sure, I'm free, whenever. But when you work in an office every day, and I love my job, and I wouldn't change a thing about that. So I love what I do. But um, and I just want to go home in the evening. I don't want to do mm-hmm. anything during the week. And oh, yeah. Well, I my biggest issue is that, or one of the hardest parts, is that I'm like, well, I got to look presentable. And uh, that takes a whole bunch of time. And then I'm so busy, I have no time to like think during the day or even run any errands or anything. So by the end, I'm like, but by the end of the day, I'm just like, uh, I don't even want to talk to anybody I can right now. Yeah, yeah, it's it's rough. Someone made this joke to me one time. They're like, what's the craziest thing you've ever done for money? It's like work 40 hours a week doing the same yeah. thing. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Uh, maybe we'll just end on that note. We should just, we should end, end with that. Yeah, well, that's it. All right. So. <laughs> All right. But I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. <laughs> you got the upper hand. I've been down on my luck. Yeah, I've had better days, but of high steep falls. There's a reason why people love it under dog. Battles on one day to show who you are. And in the end, you know I'm okay, mine. Maybe not today. Soon